Hey guys, back here at Scientist here, and behind me is the world's most powerful vortex cannon. It shoots a vortex ring out at over 350 miles an hour, and it's aimed directly at my head. Well, a little bit above it, because honestly, I'm kind of scared of this thing, and you're about to find out why. Fire! Now the crazy thing is you can't see the vortex because it's shooting rings of air, which is, well, invisible. But you can definitely hear it. That noise is the invisible vortex ring just ripping through the air. It sounds like an invisible fighter jet flying through a field. This thing shoots a concentrated right, tornado. Well, and before I shoot myself with this thing, I want to do some tests. Oh, so for the first test, we're going to shoot these cardboard boxes. Fire! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at how powerful that is. It just shreds the boxes, rips them apart. When's the last time you were able to shred a box just by slapping it? The aim was a little high that time, so we're gonna lower the cannon and try again. All right, fire, fire, fire! Right, Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it demolished it! It went right through! Oh yeah, nailed it, nailed it. Now, if you slow this down, there's a couple cool things that happen. Number one, you can see the shockwave from the blast hit the boxes before the vortex ring does. It doesn't look like much, but there's a cool editing trick. Take a copy of the clip, stack it on top, and then move that over by a few frames. Then take the difference between the two clips. This highlights and amplifies motion. Now you can see the shockwave much more clearly, and you can even see the vortex ring moving through air, and that's because it slightly bends the air like a lens. Now, I told you this is like a tornado. I mean, look at how far it threw those boxes. It picked them up and threw them about 40 feet. And I don't know about you, but I tried my hardest, and I could only throw a box like 25 feet. So this is pretty cool. That was so awesome. Dude, it shredded those boxes like a piece of tissue paper. The first shot we took actually went over the boxes and it hit the tree way over there. So this isn't just a short range vortex cannon. I mean, this thing could throw a vortex like a half mile away. I walked to the tree 500 feet away because I want to see what happens when the vortex hits it. This, it's terrifying being down here. Yeah, I'm ready. Now the tree is only 500 feet away and it takes the vortex two seconds to reach it. If you miss the tree though, the vortex keeps going and going and going. According to this clip, the vortex traveled over 2,000 feet. That was so cool! The key to making a good vortex ring is a short, fast burst of air. This cannon uses rubber bands and the giant cannon uses explosions. So right here we have the name of the cannon, the V-Rad. They have outfitted this thing with a 28 inch barrel on this end and on this end is where you fill up the gases. So right there, they've got some liquid oxygen, which they mix with a bunch of different gases in just the right ratio to get the perfect explosive mixture, which shoots the vortex ring out of the end right here. Now you can basically think of this like a giant single shot rocket engine because well, it is. There's a combustion chamber, converging diverging nozzle and fuel and oxygen injectors. So I always thought that the vortex ring was formed inside the nozzle, but it's actually not. So when the gas comes out of here, what it does is it pulls the air from the outside into the stream like that. So you get a short, fast burst of air, and the air from the outside comes like foof, and whips into the stream and makes a vortex like that. Now I wanna find out just how powerful this single shot rocket engine actually is by having it shoot my childhood basketball. Now if you listen carefully, you can hear the gas start to fill the chamber. And if you look closely from this angle, nothing but net. Maybe because the basketball was in the center of the vortex ring, nothing actually hit it. So I'm going to move the stand over to the edge so the vortex ring will nail the basketball. I also moved the basket a little bit closer to give me better odds. Oh, no. So even though we got a direct hit on the basketball, the vortex ring is still faster than the basketball and it knocks the hoop over before the basketball can get there. But this cannon wasn't built to play basketball, it was designed to scare birds. And this is the perfect thing for scaring birds because it is just so loud. It's actually hard to convey just how loud this thing is. I mean, when they fire this thing, all of the dirt jumps up off the ground. It's like an actual artillery cannon going off. The owner of the cannon also told me they used the sound of the cannon firing as a sound effect in one of the new Star Wars movies. They call it the battering ram. It makes that like pulse and it shoots. Well, that's our cannon. Well, I guess it's time to get hit by the battering ram while I hide in this porta potty. The truck's gonna be here in a minute and I'm pretty nervous. It's a good thing that this came with toilet paper. Wait, that reminds me. I promised Mark Grover that just in case I died, I'd tell you about his new kit from Crunch Labs, the Hack Pack. It's basically a series of really fun programmable kits that get delivered directly to you. 
Each kit comes with a set of instructions and a step-by-step -step build video that teaches you engineering skills too. The same kind that Mark uses to build stuff like this, a giant version of the kit. It's 14 plus? I'm not that smart. The first kit features a desktop turret robot with a 360 degree spin and a six shot capacity. Then there's a Domino Lang robot and other awesome creations like this cool custom label maker and a computer controlled CNC sand garden. Wow, oh, this is a nice kit. I like it. All the laser cut wood, it just kind of snaps together. One of my favorite parts about these kits is since they're all robots, you can hack them. There's three levels of coding access from a full lockdown to a guided tour of the hacks to full customization. So you can control stuff like how fast it moves all the way up to writing a script so it shoots around your body in a perfect outline. Or in my case, you can use it to guard your porta potty. This is definitely the best porta potty experience I've ever had in my life. They're also giving away a free box when you sign up. So if you want this mini turret or any of the other cool kits they offer, head on over to crunchlabs.com slash backyard scientist. Using that link really helps my channel, but most importantly, it proves to Mark that doing this in a porta potty would be funny. Wait, do you hear that? Uh. Ah! 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 We did it! Oh, yeah! Ah! All right, this is it. I've finally worked up the courage to take a hit from this thing, so let's do it. All right, whenever you're ready. Oh, I hear him filling! Oh my God! Whoa! That was awesome! Oh my God, I've never felt anything like that before. Oh no. Oh God, I'm so close to that. I don't like this. Fire! Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, I don't like that. It kind of got me in the nuts too. Bring it on, here we go. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Firing! Ah! Oh! Ever since I was a little kid, I've dreamed of getting hit by a giant vortex cannon mounted on the back of a truck. This is a dream come true. Fire! Oh! Whoa, that one hit my legs. That can, that almost knocked me off my feet. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, hit me again, do it. All right, this is what it's like to get hit by a giant vortex cannon. Oh my gosh, you nailed me that time. Whoa, I think I'm done for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye, please don't shoot me again. We're pretty much all done for tonight, but I had one more question. Could this vortex cannon put out a fire? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh man, that's very, very ominous. This is so freaking cool. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's the best way to put out a fire right there. That's the best way to put out a fire. <laughs> oh, man. oh yeah, one more thing. Open Sauce 2024 is almost happening again. It's only two months away and we still need exhibitors. If you've never heard of Open Sauce before, it's kind of like a science fair, except all of your favorite science YouTubers are also there to cause chaos and give talks and party. I have to close the circuit though. No, not on me. Oh, no. Ow! Oh, oh my man. God. I'm telling you, it was awesome last year. There were so many cool exhibits. It's happening in San Francisco, June 15th and 16th at the Cow Palace. And if you have something cool you wanna share, like a giant vortex cannon, head on over to opensauce.com and apply to exhibit and you better hurry because I don't think the applications will be open for much longer.